You are watching Alabama's WVUA News, first at four. Last week, we had a guest that was really out of this world, a carnivorous plant by the name of Audrey Two. It was a compelling segment, but a bit dangerous. So today, we're going to talk to something a little less dangerous, one of Audrey's clippings about a little show you might want to check out. Hello there, Audrey's clipping. What do you mean I'm not dangerous? Well, okay, I'll grant you that. You I've got your hand off. I'm going to stay on this side of the desk. I'm not going to make the same mistake that I made last week with your... Uh, your mother or your father or however that works with plants. You wouldn't understand. It's too complicated for you silly humans. It, it, it is pretty complicated. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. And, and you're in the show, too, I understand. Is that right? Or Well, I am in the historical reenactment of what has happened now since we have started this takeover of planet Earth. It's called Little Shop of Horrors, and it is going on at Paul Bryant High School. I see. Wow, mm. so breaking news, the, mm. the Earth is being taken over by carnivorous plants from outer space. Like. That is absolutely correct. Wow, okay, well who knew? I didn't know. Arthur, do you know about this? Do you have any idea? And I must tell you, you will be shocked to learn this, but I will share this with the world now, that the man who is in charge of helping us from outer space to take over the world is none other than P. Allen Smith. I don't believe it. I do. He had a Smith. I, really? He looks so innocent, he so does. friendly. Yes. Has that nice hair. Yes. <laughs> the, but he is the mastermind. I, I just can't believe that somebody that wears a denim shirt that often could be an evil, vengeful mastermind. Well, he's no snappy dresser like you, Danny Salter. <laughs> well, there you are. This is true. <laughs> it's difficult to be quite a clothes horse like me. But anyhow, we digress. So, so P. Allen is, is helping you guys to take over the world. And the whole thing's being acted out at Bryant High School. That's exactly right. And P. Allen would like nothing better for you to come and see this historical reenactment. Because the more people come and see this production produced across the country, the more they will believe that it is a work of fiction and that it is not really happening here on planet Earth. I see. Wow. Ah! Wow, I'll tell you what, you, you've gotten worked out. I think you just sprayed me with some, some plant saliva there. Ah! <laughs> Holy moly. Ah! All right, Audrey's clippings. Well, you're very excited, and let's make sure the folks at home don't get confused. Now, even though Mr. Smith may be assisting you with world domination, he isn't actually in this show, is he? No, he is not. I see. But there's somebody almost as good, and that's Brent Jones, right? Brent Jones! Yes! Brent Jones! Yes! <laughs> there you go. That more than makes up for the lack of P. Allen Smith. But the students are doing a wonderful job reenacting this, and they do not know the, of the world domination that is happening. They are just enacting the play and just doing it for the audience's entertainment. I see. I see. Mm. All right. So it doesn't seem quite as vicious when you put it that way. Audrey's clipping. Anything else you'd like for the folks at home to know? Ah, yes. Come and see the play, or else. Mm. All right, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> you can catch Little Shop of Horrors at the Bryant Auditorium, January 26th through the 28th. The show starts at 7 p.m. Tickets are available at the door. Ah! Five dollars for adults and three dollars for students. Is that a cut on your finger? For more information, call ah! 205-759-3538. Three, eight. you need to behave. Ah! This is live television. Well, if you haven't made it to the movies in a while, you might want to go while you still can because apparently dangerous plants from outer space are taking everything over. This weekend is the time to go. We'll sneak a peek at what's new at the box office first and fourth opinion.